Welcome back. After learning estimation of height of the trees, now it's time to learn about sources of error in height measurement, which can be from different sources. That is instrumental errors. There is some inherent problem with the instrument it's, or its calibration. It may cause some errors in measurement. There are some personal errors which may be due to holding wrong holding of the instrument or not having a clear sight of the top of the tree or base of the tree which may lead to some personal errors now error due to observation once we get the reading from any equipment any instrument uh, about the height of the tree top of the tree or base of the tree we uh, do not observe the figures correctly or we don't write them on the notebook correctly now there is uh, one more error source of error which is due to lean of the trees which is uh, here described as theta theta is the angle of inclination you are you can see here in this diagram the tree is inclined having an uh, uh, angle of theta as in as angle of inclination uh, with the vertical now uh, another is uh, source of error is error due to measurement is that we do not measure the method uh, which uh, is to be used uh, for uh, with the instrument is not followed correctly now how we have to do that using uh, the right angle triangle which is usually uh, in no under normal circumstances on a level ground made by trees with the ground suppose this is the tree and this is the ground it makes a right angle triangle so we can say height of the tree is equal to d tan theta theta where d is the base of the tree and tan and theta is the angle that it makes to the top and base of the tree now uh, what is the error how we can estimate this error now this is the normal height that we estimate using the trigonometric method using the tangent law we can differentiate to estimate this small error we can differentiate this equation so the differentiation becomes dh upon d theta is equal to differentiation of, of d tan theta is d sec square theta so this is your total height and this is your uh, the error the margin of error which you got by differentiating the above term now what will be the percentage percentage of error it will be this term divided by this term now you can say that dh upon h this is dh upon h into 100 is the percentage error uh, and d theta you have moved to right side so which becomes d sec square theta which is this term upon d tan theta into 100 d this d theta, theta comes from uh, left hand side which uh, further becomes 1 d theta upon sine theta cos theta using different t ratios and ultimately we get 2 d theta upon sine 2 theta into 100 this is the percentage error which we get due to error in measurement now you have to remember that for any given height percentage error will be least when sine 2 theta is maximum the denominator has to be maximum so as to reduce the overall value so when sine 2 theta is maximum 2 theta becomes 90 and theta is equal to 45 so the error will be least when angle of inclination theta is 45 or 2 theta is 90 now here we uh, are faced with an important thing that is angle of inclination how we uh, can measure that angle of inclination will be shown in uh, the next few slides 
before that we can understand how to measure height of a leaning tree till now we did not attempt anything about measuring height of a leaning tree you can see this is the eye level and height of the tree top of the tree uh, is above the eye level and base of the tree is below the eye level but here you can see the tree is leaning towards the right away from the the tree is leaning uh, away from the observer now you can see using the sine law we can say ab upon sine angle aeb is equal to eb sine angle eab that is ab and angle ea angle aeb then you have eb which is this and sine e eab okay now uh, rearranging these terms we get ab is equal to eb sine and ang uh, uh, angle aeb upon sine angle eab rewriting it we have eb sine alpha plus beta instead of angle eab we can write this alpha plus beta upon uh, sine angle eab so instead of angle eab we are writing sine 90 minus alpha plus theta this is this is 90 minus alpha and this is your theta this is uh, here external angle property has been used so ultimately we get eb sine alpha plus beta upon sine 90 minus theta is, is equal to cos theta so we get a term eb sine alpha plus beta upon cos alpha plus theta theta is the lean of the tree which i'll show you how to measure that so here we can uh, say that we can derive a uh, height of uh, a leaning tree using sine angle property when uh, the tree is leaning away from the observer we just need eb eb is eb is this distance which is the sloping distance on the ground we can measure it with the help of a measuring tape and we uh, uh, also need alpha plus beta which can be this this angle which can be uh, estimated from different instruments uh, as told earlier and we need cos alpha this is alpha alpha angle will be again uh, estimated by the from the instruments and theta is the lean which I'll show you in the next slide uh, next few slides uh, how to uh, get that lean so similarly we have a case where the tree is leaning towards the observer this tree is leaning towards the observer this is the observer here now the, the case this case can be simply solved following the above case and all the things all the procedure remains same now you can see here where we have another case when the observer is below the top and bottom of the tree lean is away from the observer so the tree uh, is the uh, the tree base and top is at a height which is above the level eye level of the observer the similar procedure is to be followed to solve this case and we have another case similar to case 2a above case except that the lean is towards the observer now the lean is not away lean is towards the observer rest of the things remain same that is both base of the tree as well as top of the tree is uh, placed above the uh, uh, observer's eye level the same procedure has to be followed to solve this case similarly we have another case when the observer is up, observer is above the top and bottom of the tree and lean is away from the observer now observer is at the top and both top of the tree and base of the tree are below the observer's level and as similar to this there is another case uh, the only difference from the above case being that the lean is lean of the tree is towards the observer same procedure has to be followed the exterior angle property the sine uh, uh, angle formula for estimating uh, this 
uh, height of the leaning trees. Now coming towards measurement of the lean of the trees, uh, you already you you must be knowing that there is a device called as a plumb bob which has a scale. It always follows the gravity um, vertical uh, from above. A plumb bob with a device for reading angle directly is used by, for measuring lean of the trees. The, uh, this uh, has been devised, devised by uh, Mr. Krishna Swami and with the graduated scale on this device. Thank you. This